YouTube. This is a underground video from a sacred disclosed location known by some wanted by many and confused by all. The heck with it. You know I love y'all guys. I would keep y'all in the dark. Where am I? It's called the loser bitch. Hi YouTube family. It's 24 hour. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, uh, yes, I made it to the other side. Finally. Uh, and I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, being as though my mind is all over the place right now, I made myself a little list. Um, I talked to some of my, U my YouTube and Facebook family. So I have some answers to some questions and how things went I'm trying to make it as short as possible I really am Ugh, I don't want no more two-part videos unless a whole lot has happened <laughs> you know um let's look uh, the hospital uh, everything went well I recovered I, I recovered pretty well I was walking last at night but only like a little bit dizzy you know just from standing up my back hurt uh, I've been having issues with my back. Um, recovered well. Uh, felt like a human pincushion. Uh, let's see. I went in Monday. I got out Wednesday evening. Um, they sent me home with injectable heparin shots just to prevent more blood clots. I'm like, geez, you shot me up with heparin in the hospital. You got this bloody filter in me, and now you want me to shoot myself up for like two weeks now. Bull crap. But I'm doing it. Never thought I would be able to inject myself with anything. I hate needles. Um, my loss. Uh, <clears throat> now this ain't no measured scale. I lost four points, such and such and such, because I don't have one of them scales yet. There's a secret Santa out there that wants to get me one, and mm, it's not a big deal. Good come out, right, a girl. <laughs> um, so give or take a pound or two, I would say my loss was four, five, six, about six pounds since since I went in the hospital. One year. Now, don't quote me on that. I need a real scale. I hate the little digital. And, Little, the, with the little um, needle to point to it. I really hate that because honestly I can't really see past my boobs good enough to sit there and count the little lines, you know? <laughs> um, loss. Liquid diet. Um, liquid diet is boring. It's boring as all hell. I, um, I mentally prepped myself before the surgery all aspects I went over my mind so many times about what it is I need to do and how much I will be able to drink but actually being here is a totally different thing and to kind of go in with um, uh, one of my friend Nicole's uh, questions she asked me as have I been sick yet and yes yes I have I absentmindedly took a old me swallow of juice it went down there and I felt like I was drowning within myself <laughs> I felt sick and yeah I had to throw it up so it was all right um oh yeah I was going to talk about fullness um honestly I wasn't I wasn't hungry I, uh, yeah I felt full all the time Nicole I, I coming home I so the hunger that I was feeling, yeah, I could definitely it contributed to head hunger because uh, my stomach, I could feel it. I wasn't hungry, but I smelt things and I just wanted it. So I put it, I, I, I chopped it up as head hunger. Um, uh, and I know it's going to be hard um, with the intake of food I'm supposed to have, but The feeling that I had when I was doing my swallow test was absolutely horrible. First of all, 
this stuff they had me swallow tasted like pure liquid crap which made me sick and then in fact I had to swallow more than my pouch was going to be allowed to take in yes I hurt then too <laughs> do I get foaminess um okay aka frothing I've had it twice I don't like that feeling I'm gonna be really honest with you because you're my YouTube family uh, back in the day I used to smoke weed and that foamingness it kind of reminded me of that and that's why I really didn't like it because that's like an old it's old dead and long gone part of me um that's that's been buried it's gone it's way gone um let's see oh the food network yeah my fiance says I torture myself by watching the Food Network, no, and I can't have it. But in me, in my eyes, I'm looking at recipes that I could alter to make Will's friendly. You know, how could I switch this? Swap the sugar out for Splenda or Truvia, what have you? You know, stuff like that. Um, and I've been addicted to it. That and the uh, what my wedding shows. <laughs> um, oh, my walk this morning. I dropped the kids off. This is the first day I walked the kids to school since before surgery so I felt like I was up I was up to challenge so I, I walked into school I felt pretty good about it you know nice steady pace I wasn't overly winded got there I thought we was late because you know usually when I'm walking sometimes we leave out kind of a little after eight we, we wound up being late so we got there we heard the bell ring I guess that was like get ready get set bell or whatever so I'm like, oh, we're late, but it, it's only going to be like two minutes, you know. So um, we get there. They're not late, so they rush off. Bye, mom. Give kisses. Da 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 da. da. And um, I'm walking back, and I hear the real bell. And it's like ten minutes later after I dropped them off. I'm like, huh? Okay. So we're at this point. It's like eight thirty from where I was at and I'm like okay steady pace steady pace talk to one of my neighbors um up the street for like a minute or two got in the house it tickered around with the computer and was like I looked at the time and was like oh my god I'm, I started doing the math in my head it was like I got up there and back in a half an hour now you two you went out and walked with me well some of you did is ridiculous it usually takes me 45 minutes to an hour up and back not a half an hour oh my goodness this it, it's been one week past surgery and I'm shaving 50 minutes to a half an hour that is crazy oh. and I'm not and when I usually come in I'm usually so tired no I'm not tired I'm, I'm up um, like I'm up, you know. It's I think the cold was kind of pushing me. It's not that cold, but it's cold enough to say, "Get your booty in the house." <laughs> oh, yeah. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Walk my loss. Liquid diet, food network, sick for me. Head, blah, blah 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 blah. I went through all that. Um, but um, I'm healing up nicely. You know, um, the stiffness, the stiffness, the, the only complaint I really had in the hospital was like stiffness. You know, I really wasn't in pain, pain. I wasn't, because some people said they felt like they got hit with a Mack truck. I, I didn't feel like that. Um, I just, I just hated the back pain, like spending five hours on your back. And then when I had the filter put in, I had to spend six hours plus however long it took to put the filter in on my back. My back never recovered fully from all that. And I'm like, oh, oh, it'll get better. It will get better. My back it's just kill, kills me at times. And like, honestly, the stiffness now is gone and I'm, I'm feeling really good. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up, YouTube. Um, should have another video. I may probably make it on Tuesdays, maybe. Next Tuesday, new video new challenges, new rants, raves, um, 
maybe I could tell you what the doctor says. I go to see my surgeon on Monday. Maybe I can move on from the liquid, liquid diet. Yay! <laughs> so I love you all. Peace and blessings. Season's greetings to you all. Goodbye.